Hi again. We're here for a little daily JavaScript, and uh, I've got a simple example here. In the last um, video, I, I talked about the for loop, and I thought, well, why don't we do a little something more with the for loop? So, uh, you know, I've got a page here, and you can see it's listing all the letters of the alphabet, right? So I got A through Z on my page. And then in the, um, in the console here, I just have some you know, it's listing some letters here, and down here I created a couple of arrays with some random letters in them, you know. You never know, you might, you might want to list all the letters of the alphabet one day. Trust me, you know, it, it could happen. Okay, so, so how are we going to do this? I'm going to delete this and start all over again, okay? And then we'll talk about how to, how to approach this, right? So, um, first of all, um, every letter of the alphabet um, Ha is a character, but it's also it, there's also a, a code or a number associated with every character. So you know if we say you know console dot log, and then we say string dot uh, from code, and then we say code number. And I happen to know ninety seven is the lowercase letter a. Okay, so I'll put that in here, and then we'll. Um, We'll refresh it, and you can get, see it gives me the letter A, right? So like lowercase a, right? Um, so that's not super useful, but uh, you know, it could be useful for something. Let's try something else. So what if we did this? What if we said for? And we're going to do the for loop again. For variable i equals uh, you know, 97, right? That's the letter A. And then we want to loop while i is less than, you know, what's 97 plus 26? Well, why don't we just put that in here, 97 plus 26, right? There you go. And then uh, with each loop, we'll say i plus plus, okay? And then we'll say, you know, console log. If I can spell it today. Um, and then we'll say, you know, I'll just put this character colon and then... Um, now we want to get the character, right? So we'll say string dot character code um, uh, i, right? So, so there we go, right? From character code, here's our character code here, and then we'll uh, we'll test it, right? And here you can see we've got all the letters of the alphabet a through z, right? So you know what's another way to do this, right? Well, you could have made an array. Right, and then you could have typed in, well, I did them lowercase, right? Uh, you know, A, B, C, and, and, you know, that would work, right? But, you know, if you change the letters or something happened here, you know, it'd be pretty tedious to go through this one and, and, and change all the letters, right? But here, you know, we could just move the, the character set by changing the numbers here, right? Okay, so the for loop maybe is useful. You know, this is kind of a weird example with the uh, with the letters, but you know, there's could be a lot of situations where you do want to get all the letters of the alphabet. Um, <clears throat> while we're talking about this, why don't we improve on this a little bit? What if we do this? What if we say because um, you know, just knowing that number ninety seven was the first letter is kind of a little weird, right? Like, how do we know that, right? Well, let, let's let's figure it out, right? Um, maybe I'll, I'll do it this way. I'll, I'll type in, you know, console.log, and what we'll do is we'll put in the letter A, right? And we want to get the character code from this, right? So um, we'll say uh, character code at, I think that's it, like that, right? We'll save that. And then you can see the first number right here that we console law or sent to the console here is, is number 97 right um so you know we can we can take any string and every string is actually a javascript object so you can use the dot on it to access any of the methods of the string right and one of those methods is character code at so this is sort of the you know the opposite of from character code so here you you give it the number right and here you you from this string you ask for the the number right so here we're asking for the number actually if you have um you know multiple characters here i think you can put the the number in here so if i say zero 
we'll get 97 because that's the first letter in the string, right? This one, right? And if we put number one here, that'll be the second letter of the string, so it should give us B, right? So actually, that's how character code at works, right? Um, right, so there's number 98, right? So let's, let's right, because, you know, first letter is, is 97, is A, second letter, letter 98 is B, and the third one, 99, would be C, right? So, uh, so what are we going to do with this, right? Well, why don't we make our code a little smarter, right? You know, these number 97s in here are kind of, you know, not very good, right? They're, you know, I mean, like, what is, how do we know that it's 97? It's kind of an odd number. Why don't we do this? Why don't we just say start equals letter A dot character code at, right? And you could put a zero in here too, but if you don't have a number, it just gives you the first, the first one, right? So that'll be our starting letter, right? And we can just replace this with the variable. And we can put this one here too, right? And so now, you know, we can start from any letter, right? And then get all 26 letters of the alphabet, right? So maybe, you know, if I wanted to, let's, let's test that and make sure it still works, right? Um, we'll refresh it here, right? I've no, been known to get a couple errors in the console, but, but anyway, so there we go. There's all the letters of the alphabet. What if we want to start with the uppercase letters? So now doing this method, we could put an uppercase A there, and it doesn't really matter what the character code is because there's always 26 letters, but this will, you know, make sure that this is the starting one, right? That we start on the letter A. So we'll save that, refresh it, and there's all the, the starting letters, right? So that was pretty good. Um, oops, I kind of hit save there. Um, so anyway, so that's kind of a useful way of working with, um, with character code at and, you know, um, the for loop, right? So maybe we'll just stop this video here and, you know, maybe this will be just sort of a follow-up to our for loop thing to give you something, you know, else to think about. Thanks for watching.